creating your profile. In creating your profile, uh, the profile group list here is, is just a tag for each one of the profiles um, that you create. So for example, if you were marketing to roofers, as you see here, uh, this is just a group name for the marketing campaign that you set up. And then inside of this, this group, you can have profiles. So for all your roofing campaigns, here's the profiles that you are going to use. So you can create as many of these groups as you want. And, and basically uh, you can put whichever profile members you want in each group. So let's create a profile here. So if you just click on create profile, create new profile, this is what that'll look like. So you may be wondering, okay, I see full name here. And then I also see first name, last name, and then followed by a bunch of other information. What is this? So remember I told you that RoboContact will allow you to complete contact forms on people's websites. So some websites you go to, they ask you for your full name. Some ask for first name and last name. Some ask for a company name, email, phone, zip, state, website. And uh, there's a, a message that it typically asks you for. This information feeds into that contact form. So once it finds the business that you want to reach out to, it will fill out their contact form on their website with this information. As you notice, there's no field here for message because that's handled separately through the contact us message. These are, this is just the fields that are typically asked for in a contact form. You do see a signature down here, which will get appended to the bottom of your message when you create that. So the next thing you want to do is after you create this profile is you want to go into your email configuration. With your email configuration, this is where you'll set up the email address that is going to be used for this profile. So this is the email address that will be used when emailing the accounts uh, that it finds or the businesses that is found by RoboContact. This is important. You want to make sure that this information is in here. Now, when you connect your email address, say you're using Gmail, which I recommend, it's pretty simple if you do, uh, you'll connect, you'll click on, you know, connect email address uh, or email account and you'll get this prompt where you select the email account that you want to use and you allow RoboContact to communicate through that email address. Afterwards, you can do a test configuration where it will test sending an email to that email account. Now, as I stated before, there is a profile group, which is also in, in your profile. And if you create this group, uh, again, it's just an umbrella, uh, a way to organize and manage your, your profiles. So you can put as many profiles into this group as you want. This is it. This is all that you fill out here. It's just this group name for your profile. 